what is going on everyone it is memory here we are back of course with some more mushoku tensei this being episode one of the second season not episode two episode one yeah i mean you guys know we had the episode zero or whatever so this right here is technically episode one and, and speaking of episode zero i thoroughly enjoyed what we had with it just catching us up with sylphie and then also giving us like introductions to a lot of these characters like Ariel, Luke, and some of the other nobles from the Asura Kingdom. And I'm really curious uh, inter and interested to see where that goes as this season goes along. But I would assume with this episode right here, I mean, we, ha we have to see Rudy one way or another, focus on Rudy, right? Because, I mean, we didn't, we didn't see him at all in the episode zero, which I, I guess maybe you could say is a little refreshing in a way. But I look at the title of this episode, I'm like, okay, Rudy. But I, even if we didn't have the title, I'd be like, we're going to see him one way or another, even if it's just a tease or whatever, but I would assume we focus on Rudy and see what he's up to in this episode, which I'm really excited for. But I mean, even besides that, excited and curious to see what we're going to have in this episode and just where they're going to go with this season, the, the direction they decide to take it. So yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's hop into this episode, everyone, and see what we're going to have. Here we go. No OP again. I feel like that was a pretty common thing in the first season even. I'm not really complaining because technically you get more content. But... And my first question is, where the hell are we? Because not ideal conditions wherever we are. Some good old gambling or something going on there. That's how you take it seriously, though, when money's uh, involved. You, you throw money on it. Heads or tails. Look who it is. There he is. Yep. Sigh. Shoku Tensei. Uh, that's interesting. I don't think they had... Did they have the English text on there? And uh, It's not a big deal, but... Oh, there was two of them right here. I thought it was just her. <laughs> she said, you go ahead. You, you break the ice. Is that, that's what he's been doing this whole time, sitting in the corner, sighing like that? As, uh, maybe he's about to say something? Brings you up north. We're up north. Heading to a dangerous place. Adventure bodyguards. That's what they are. She's pissed. They're like thinking of Ares. Yeah, she does give off that vibe, actually. Looking for Zenith. Yeah. So that's why we're heading up north. Got to start somewhere. She's very kind. <laughs> Clean out your ears and listen up. Most countries in the Northlands are poor. Three great magical nations. Is he even paying attention? I, I hope he is. I, I don't I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised maybe if he knew that already. Oh, wow. 
Dude, that's one thing I've always said with this series, man. The locations. I'm always just in awe by each place we go to in one way or another. Uh, you're up north. Room for about a month. I wonder how long do we we don't really know like how long he's been with these people. I feel like it probably hasn't been too long, but <laughs> Oh wow. That's probably way more than them them mirrors, man, the the, the glass, dude. They love they love using that. Even that right there is probably some symbolism. Him shutting the thing, covering it. Everywhere he goes, he's thinking of her. But he can't, like, dwell on it, right? He, he can't. Yeah, <laughs> exactly as he said right there. Like, he's aware of that, though. I'm not traveling to try and get over this heartbreak. That's not all the world revolves around, right? There's other things. Help me officially disband my party. Oh, he's like, wait. Never mind. No? Damn. Oh, did... Did he not do it, or what? Or maybe he still gets, like, to keep that? Solo, the lone mage, the lone sad mage. Interesting. <laughs> how much money he just gave the innkeeper it's like you need money but look like you don't care anymore even if you die that's probably like pretty valid <laughs> she's so heiress like yeah it is crazy I like I like this girl so far. Her right here. I'm liking her already. Facts. I just think of Rui Jerd when I see that guy. Sag. Oh, yeah, wait until you see. I'm sure there will come a time when you'll see his talents. And what she said about them being in like very dangerous territory, I'm curious potentially maybe what we'll see. Urusai. <laughs> That's twice. 
Oh man. And first one here, Rudy. Some Asura and wine. Okay. Huh? Noni? Hmm. That's sim that is symbolic, yeah, for sure. Especially you could tell how they directed that shot right there with her hand. She's like, ah, no big deal, whatever. <laughs> but especially like with what's happened and him splitting from everyone, essentially, it's like, does he want to make that connection again and be disappointed counter arrow is the name of the group timothy long-range magical attacks it seems like they don't really put much weight into their roles i guess Sarah. Damn. Hey, I kind of appreciate that she's honest, at least. I mean, it's kind of a... I mean, it makes sense why she really wouldn't trust him, like, but... It's a possibility. But she's not really even giving him the chance. <laughs> so they were in it. They said they were Ghislaine and Ares. So she kind of did give off that vibe as well. Uh, Su uh, Suzanne girl. But they were in Asura as well. Apparently. Luster Grizzlies. Good to have a plan, a strat. I don't want to work with you. Oh, I thought she was going to say some shit like that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like, right? Like, the morale here is <laughs> in the mud. I know someone, I know someone just like her. Damn. Damn. Oh, 
வணியம் design wise these things look pretty sweet oh my god timothy <laughs> Oh, here goes Rudy. So Rudy's not doing anything crazy right now. Okay. I mean, that was kind of his role. I feel like there's going to come a point where he's going to have to do, like, he has to show off kind of, right? There's something else. Wait a second. They're all just like looking at him like, what is he doing? Black Grizzlies. What? Are they covered in mud? Yeah. Uh, these are even, like, crazier than those, I guess they are? <sighs> oh. Yo, well, what do you do? Come on. It's just like she said earlier. Like, you could, you, you would just be fine dying right now. You look like you just don't care. You really wanted to go out like that, my boy? Come on now. Come on. I get the state that his mind is sort of in, but... Hey, they were going to run. They didn't have to come back like this, but look, they did. They all stayed in there. Suzanne absorbing a lot of these hits. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like what I like how they're doing this. How they're circling around, but like it's in slow motion. Oh, look at Sarah. Oh, that was sick. Now he's going to do something crazy. For each other. Who are you going to see today? <laughs> hey, there's a smile. There's, there's something you can be confident in. That's all he needed, though, is, like, remember why you do this. Remember why, like, where it all started. Like, what you... Oh, my goodness. Like, what it's all about, essentially. Damn, all those impact frames right there, too. Yep, we'll be seeing ya. Hold that, Timothy. <laughs> yeah, no hate on Timothy, no, no hate. I figured he was gonna have to do something like that, or we'd see something like that. Oh yeah, y'all are y'all are eating good. I don't know how much of this party we're gonna have, but I don't, they, they seem pretty cool. 
And if they help like for development with Rudy, that's like even more of a plus. Like just them themselves. I'm kind of, kind of fucking with them. He's like, nah, I should like thank y'all because if it wasn't for you coming and jumping back in, there we go. His hand like that too. He just would have. He was okay with dying right there. Then they they made him remember what it's all about. Oh, here comes an apology or something. Or that. <laughs> that took a lot for her to do. It took so much for her to do that. So that says a lot. They just, they just did a job. Like, shut up. I mean, they're going to talk. They're all going to talk. That's... <laughs> they're like, yeah, these guys are awesome. <laughs> Fake ass motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Woo. <laughs> Hey, we love to see that, man. Open up them damn, yeah, open that up. It's not all scary out there. Although it may seem like that with you splitting from Eris, and it's like, oh, he's so drastic, like, yeah, what else do I have to live for? It's like, okay. It's not all over, man. Like, yeah, it sucks, but life still moves on. There's other things still out here, and... Obviously, you you do what you do. I'd forgotten about living seriously. Ah, uh, they gonna hit. They gonna hit us with some track here. Ah. Uh. Roxy. You're still alive, man. You can still. I mean, that just is enough right there. Can't betray those lessons. Yep. Yep. Life goes on, though. Yeah, you haven't lost everything. It's not over, bro. Right. Yep. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah, it sucks still, but I've had it worse, bro. Way worse, man. And you're still alive. You can still change. You can still, like, make progress with whatever it, it could be, right? Oh, uh, here comes the... He's going to toss that right in there. Yep. And that... You know, moving on. Got to move on. Love that. Love that. Love that, man. That that reminded me of kind of the last episode of the of the season one of the second core, whatever you'd want to say with, you know, when he was thinking about Zenith and kind of reminiscing on that and use that as motivation. You know, that was, uh, you know, what we had there really reminded me of the end uh, of that, I must say. But this episode really I figured 
we'd be back focusing on Rudy, and that was the case, obviously. But uh, seeing kind of the state that he was in totally makes sense, right? Uh, especially with his, I guess, experience in dealing uh, with things of this nature. To him, with what he had built with Aris, and even like the others splitting from them, but especially like Aris, with what you know, with what he had there, when that was, you know, what felt like ripped away from him. It makes sense, right, from his perspective that he would feel like he has nothing left. But then you, you sit there and think the, the party and them fighting for him and being there for him essentially was kind of like a wake up call because it helped him remember those past things. Right. You know why he does what he does, where it all started, who taught him these certain things, who he's just been through uh, life or death, pretty much scenarios with who he shared good times with anything you'd want to say, like it kind of made him remember all that so when he's sitting there at the end of the episode thinking about all that he's like what the heck was i doing like i was just ready to die right there i was ready to you know he feels stupid right uh but it made sense why he was sort of feeling that way but now he's still alive he still has his life to live he can still like there's still plenty of other things out there it may suck right now this one specific thing but he still has a lot to live for a lot to learn a, a lot to go through and that's what we're going to see as obviously the series continues to to go on. And of course, somewhere down the line, whenever that may come, him and Eris will patch everything up and it'll be fine. Right. But right now he just has to focus on what he needs to focus on. And, you know, that's just you got to take it one step at a time. So really loved that uh, with this episode, especially. And, and then also just the introduction of these. I mean, we had like the air introductions of like Ariel and Luke and whatnot with Sylphie in the previous episode. I really like their introductions and even some of these party members. I really enjoyed their introductions. Now, I don't know how much we're going to have of them. I, I would like to see a significant amount of focus with them. Um, but I, I think I'm like even uh, what was her name? Suzanne. I I really liked her. She was probably actually my favorite out of all the introductions, but they're all kind of cool in, in their own ways. I, I know some of you may be like, oh, Sarah, it's kind of like the classic trope. So maybe some people will feel some kind of way about her, but maybe she'll grow on us as, as it. I'm not too crazy about her, but I feel like maybe she could like kind of Eris because Eris at first, I wasn't like super crazy about Eris, but as it went along, she definitely grew on me. So this might be another case with that, depending on how much they actually focus on her and this party. But uh, yeah really good episode here with the uh, first episode of season two let me know what you all thought of it if you guys did enjoy my reaction make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching peace out